And still 150 people in the chat. Dude, we are almost at 100 likes. Can we get 100 while we're live? Oh, uh, what are we at right four now, more, man? Are we, more. We, yeah, we're at 96 likes, guys. Let's hit that like button, man. We're going to talk. Yes, 1 6 shaped. Did someone just say DC? We are going to be talking about the death of Superman. I hope you guys did your homework, P Rock. <clears throat> well, I remember I actually had his comic. I bought it when it released. I, I do remember reading it. And I remember all the other Supermans that came out afterwards and the special covers and everything. So I, I, I remember everything. Do you want to elaborate on? <laughs> oh, how far we're gonna go into this? Oh, oh right, yeah, go. oh yeah, oh yeah. So, so look, we all. Well, uh, for I, those I who know, didn't I know, know right? You. I know if you're gonna. Like, no, no, I got. I, this is the seven. Snapses. I only did the seven issues. I put all seven issues right here in a slide, bro. So, this we're gonna all just kind of seven issues, like every page. Every page. Holy shit! They're yeah. all there, as you can see. Here's Doomsday landing on Earth. But anyway, yeah, it was a seven part run. We went way more into it. Obviously, they went to the funeral for our friend. Oh, the reign yeah. of the Superman, Return of Superman, so on and so forth. What was this, 92, 93? Around I remember there, being I like 11. Uh, early to mid-90s or so. Yeah, it was 91, 92 or 92, 93. No. Yeah. 91 to 92 or 92 to 93. I should know this. But um, since 93. How long, do you guys recall how long he was actually gone for? Was it more than a year? Well, yeah, I mean the the, the seven the seven issues. Um, yes, yeah, go on, P Rock, educate us. Uh, <laughs> fucking Bretta, um, I love you all, dude. Uh, dude, that's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, but I mean, the, there was the seven issues that led into it, and then after that, we got you know, it kept going. It was like two two years, three years total. Yeah, exactly. When I remember when it first, I was like, this, he's not gonna be dead, man. He's gonna come back right away. Cause you know, in comics people die, you always come back right away. So it means like that was DC's main, other than Batman, their cash grab. Justice League was pretty good too at that time. I didn't like DC much at that. I was more of um Marvel and Image, but this right here, this is a. Mm. a I, I remember when this came out, man. Doom, Doomsday looked cheesy as hell underneath that. Like when he had that costume at first, as he as he started fighting people, the costume started tearing through. You started seeing like the spikes coming out through him. I like the more um. I, when I first read it, I was kind of. In a way, like a little upset that Superman was killed by somewhat of a newer villain. I was kind of hoping it was gonna be Dark Side eventually, or somebody like finally got, like, finally gets the Superman. Um, but it, I mean, I, I remember reading it and just the, the whole thing. I came, it had the little special bag that you bought. It came in the little special bag with the bloody the black Superman bag. flag. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, sigil, yeah. And then I don't want to. Spoil for everybody. Else. I mean, I don't. I'm not sure, pretty sure you guys read it, but I don't know. I guess it was. It was. It was a good moment. It wasn't to me either. The story wise, wasn't like the best story either. Right. It. I was like a, like a little disappointed, but like I said, I didn't do much DC at this time. I was more, I was more Marvel. What happened? He's reading Wikipedia. I'm like, <laughs> 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 oh man, that was pretty good. Um, did I totally take a six scale Doomsday if it was yeah. comic book? Dude, that but would be that, sick as hell. The, the battle old spoilers. Cool. The battle, the battle was cool. Hammer Superman, the little flag at the end. Um, I wasn't too much of a fan of like the, all those other Supermans that came out afterwards. Yeah. At, well, how much was the total? Was it was it how much you guys said? There like, were four, think, right? There was were, Superboy. There was uh, mm -hmm. the Eradicator. There was, there was Steel, and then there Steel, was Cyborg yeah, Superman. Was yeah, I wasn't a fan. Steel. You got Wikipedia well, right in front of you, bro. You didn't see that. You didn't. You didn't. No, I don't you're have not. Wikipedia. For <laughs> he has to scroll down, bro, on the on the site. Uh, My hands are right here. <laughs> oh, I got you. No, no, I'm kidding. You right. Just hit Control F and just start typing, bro. You'll you'll get everything right in front of you, bro. <laughs> That's fucking great, man. No, look, dude, this shit was badass, man. I remember being like 11 years old, and it was cool, man. My mom would take me to the to the, our local comic book store, man, and it was just like it. It was a big deal believe it or not mm -hmm. it was a big deal then in 92 93 because they had never done that before and even like you know we could chalk it up and say yo i was like you know like 10 year old 11 year old kid but i really thought he was like it wasn't just me man i remember the shit being on the news dude it was like on yeah the, on, that's like, how i found out about it to be honest did you from the freaking news comics? out of all you things comics back the, then? the news reported it yeah did i read comics yeah you didn't collect comics back then uh i kind of 
I, I, I kind of dabbled into Jim Lee um, X-Men a little bit. You know, I mean, just like a little, little bit, you know, not much. Because I, I always appreciated his art, dude, you know. So I'd like mostly skim through just to look at the artwork, you know, rather than actually get into the story and shit. Yeah, Jim Lee is one of my favorites. Yeah. And did you did you end up reading this then, Mario? I mean, event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, um, because of that, it did it did gauge my interest, man. I did want to see, you know, what was what was happening. But like I said, the time they reported it, I think it had already. It was about the last issue was about what was it, Superman seventy three. I think it was about to happen, or 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 it did happen, you know. So the way that I ended up reading it is that <laughs> I think it was that one of those. Um, I think it's like a was it a Sam's Club or or whatever it was back That's in the day. Just start coming off. They had like a five pack of like the entire of all of them, you know. So oh cool, you know, get a chance to just you know pick them up. I'm pretty sure they're like whatever umpteenth issues or whatever the uh, the run. Um, so yeah, I just check it out from there and. Um, it was it was interesting, but it was I mean giving it another read and the story yeah I mean when I remember first reading checking it out, and I knew I knew who nobody was seeing all these all these JL characters, like I don't know who this is I don't know who that is and I know. and I, I, I still don't to this day, um I just remember basically just Doomsday just Doomsday wreaking havoc you know and just him and Soup's just going at it you know pretty much the whole thing and that's that's what it really was, um. It was it was a crazy ass fight, you know, from you know from what I remember and all. Um, but to see those final um, those final panels when they both took each other out, dude, and then you see that last page with um, with Lois holding Clark, you know, in her arms, and that's so know, iconic and just now, dropped, dude. Hey. And he just dropped, and I was like, dude, that that like you know that that kind of got me, man. That was you know that it was it was like kind of like you said, nothing like that has ever happened before. You know, this was this was like this was a big thing. Like I said, I heard about it from the news. <laughs> you know, so this is absolutely crazy when it went down. And then all the following the events following that. You know, I I actually got into a funeral of a friend. I was reading that. You know, and seeing what happened to uh, to Jonathan Kent. You know, at the very end of that at the end of that uh, tale. And then rain rain into Superman. I got into it, but then it just started. I didn't give a shit after a while. After it ended, I was like, okay, well, I'm done. It kind of got a little someone. derailed. It did. But... I thought I thought it did, and when they brought him back, I mean, I was like, eh, okay. I mean, I I get it, but I wasn't a fan of the look at the time with him in that big ass mullet. <laughs> I was like, what the he hell? Had the white, he had the, the white suit, right? The best. He I, had the white I never liked it. I never liked it. The suit was dope. Black. Suit. He had the white suit, right? It wasn't oh the black? It, it, no, was, it was black. black. It, it was black, black, but he had like the silver bands. Yeah. He had his badass AC Slater mullet, you know. I mean, uh, dude, it was. <laughs> I wasn't a fan. Come on, of it, man, bro. dude. And then they brought the mullet into the after they uh, after the story ended when he came back. He was still in a full mullet mode. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Hell yeah, uh, yeah right. that that I wasn't a fan bro. of that at all, man. Huh? That mullet was the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a fan, dude. Dude, I loved it, man. All right, yeah. so Miguel, you read it too, man. Obviously. Yeah. So, the, the, so for me, right? There's there's iconic moments in storytelling that you just don't forget about. And I remember this, I was super young, but kind of like Mario said, I remember, and I was more of a Marvel guy. Um, but like, I remember hearing this like on TV and radio, like news flash Superman's dead. And the way they were like, it was almost like the media was, was playing into like if we were living in the same comic because they were like news flash yeah. superman's dead so like as a marvel viewer and i didn't know much about superman except that he was superman right i was like oh shit, they're killing off superman so this is one of those iconic yeah. stories where everybody heard about it and everybody had to tune in almost like when captain america said hail hydra and everybody flipped the hell out this is one of those moments where everybody kind of tuned in it was like they're really killing off superman now when you know p rocks mentioned you know i was about you know a villain you know being like you know dark side or something i think they had to do it this way because you know dark side they already knew about and like you know there was going to be too many questions so bringing a new character in not only gave an opportunity for that new character but gave an opportunity for suspense and more wonder on wow what can actually defeat superman and you know who could it be everybody's tried and everybody's failed who is this person and I think 
I, it's one of those things where you know you ever seen a movie when you're a kid like and then when you watch it now it's like what the hell i thought this was the greatest thing on earth right and i think that's what happened with this comic book as a kid you're like holy shit like everything mm -hmm. about this was amazing and and i yeah. didn't have to read it i was looking at pictures right but like i was like man this is great but then i go and read it now and it's just like this could have probably be done a little bit better yeah. um but it's one of those things as a kid you were like oh my goodness you know the whole world's tuning in you're into the obviously hype. yeah the, you're you're you know and that, the only thing i compare it to is watching a movie like from back in the day and like back in the day as a kid you remember it being so awesome and then when you see it now you're like god i really was into this like what the hell was this i kind of um, feel that way with some of the like tmnt you know right. although the first the first what? movie still no, the first one was yeah let's not get on that the first one yeah. was way ahead of its oh, time oh you're talking the yeah. movies okay yeah yeah, yeah i think yeah, you guys come yeah, yeah. about the comic look those comics still hold no, up no no the comics were the comics are the, freaking amazing the, 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 the first the first turtle movie is still amazing yeah, the second yeah. one it was like wow this was so fun and I watched it again recently. I'm like, yeah, all right, we got vanilla ice, and you know, <laughs> yeah. but but I, well, I digress. But yeah, I mean, this 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 was kind of like what maybe people nowadays would consider. Gosh, I don't know, kind of almost like Endgame, in a way, right? You know how there was all this hype yeah, building well, up to yep. Endgame, Build and up, yeah. yeah, but like for us, it was. I mean, because what Superman came out in like 1938, yeah, so like that, uh, that yeah, dude. Dark. So yeah, it was like 1938. I'm pretty sure. But so it's up Superman, until though, you know, like it's like it's Superman who could kill Superman. Somebody right. So he Superman. was already, you know, 60 years or whatever, 50, 50, 50, 60 years of 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 being in pop culture. Nothing. Then all of a sudden, boom. He's going to die, you know, and then we were just like, damn, what what's going to happen with. What the, what the fuck is DC doing? You, <laughs> exactly. you know what I'm saying? Because as I was a kid, I thought the same thing. I was like, damn, he's going to he's gone. And then you read the big yeah. funeral for a friend arc, you know, the Mario's talking about, and then the reign yeah. of Superman, and you're like, damn, he's fucking gone. Like, you know, yeah. all this, you know, these other replacements are coming in, you know. Um, it was well, just I think, I think DC needed this. Like, this is this is one of their turning points, you know, in, in their studio was this, but then I think they didn't I, I think Jeez, Joker. this was their Hail Mary, but then I don't think they knew what was gonna happen after that, and that's why you know, it kind of started growing legs and, and started going a little crazy with the reign of Superman and all that. But I think this is what they needed. And that's why this, this book is a dime a dozen. As cool as it is, it's not really worth that much because everybody mm -hmm. has it. I, still, heavy, yeah. I literally have three mm -hmm. copies and two of them are still in the bag. Yep. Well, that's that's the other thing, right? If we're gonna talk <laughs> about, you can't stop for anything either. About really? 90s comics, right? You want to talk about a decade that massive, massive, massive overproduced comics? It was the 90s, bro. Yeah. There's only a handful. I can count on both both hands, like the 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 val most valuable comics of the 90s. That's mm -hmm. shit. And that like reign of Superman, 10? I probably have like 20 of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeez. Everybody, every, once, every this, once this was done, yeah, everybody was like, oh, I don't even collect kinds, but you got to buy this because it's that Superman. Yeah. And all the new There's almost nothing, now. man. Like ASM 300, but I still think that was late 80s. I don't think that hit 90s yet because Todd McFarlane didn't do Spider-Man until 91 or 90, you know, with Torment. So I think ASM 300 was late 80s. So I'm trying to think of like New Mutants 98, you know, holds some value because of Deadpool. There's, like, there's, there's so many of these that I guarantee that Mario has one in the box that he talked about last week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I do. I do, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, I, that's actually in a separate box with some other stuff that I actually had. So the white, the white, the uh, what, Superman 500 in the white bag. Yeah, I, I bought two See of these those. One here. in the bag and then one, uh, one open up. You know what's going to be worth that money? Style. Uh, what's that? Is when he turned into that electric Superman. Electric Superman. Later? Yeah, he, was like, he was like, yeah, like he turned into this like electric Superman. There was a blue one and there was a red one. That that first appearance of that and when the red one and blue, those things are worth, you know, a couple bucks. Really? What's the story arc where he had the white suit? The instrument at one point had a white suit? Mm. I think about, you think about the movie, dude. No, I could, my brother collects the DC. I gotta ask him. I could have sworn it was in the comics he had. Like he a collects the DC, DC comics. He collects the DC <laughs> comics. It's awesome. I, was, I have I have two older brothers, so of course they get the first pickings. My older brother picked DC. They picked Marvel. I was stuck with like the Outcast mm. stuff until Image came out. Oh, Image was something else. Yeah, but even Outcast that's not worth it. shit, right? Like no, I mean, I we had like Wildcats, Jim Lee, and that. 
90s was, you know, everything. Yeah. Nothing's really worth much unless there's very specific key, you know, specific keys out there, key issues. But it's far and few between, man. But, but yeah, I mean, you with know, this, go ahead, from Mario. What, from what I understood, too, is that this whole event, I was listening listening to um, uh, to a story about this, and they had mentioned the fact that they suspended the sales of any of the uh, Superman comics, for, I think, for like a couple months. You know, because I guess the world at the time was like literally shocked and kind of mourning in a sense as well. I don't remember that, you know, per se, because I wasn't really, you know, as, you know, as delved in the comic world, you know, but if that were true, dude, I mean, that's, that's crazy, dude. I mean, like considering an, an iconic figure like this, you know, will stop, you know, the company will, will, will suspend the sales of comics just to let the world uh, actually mourn. Oh, Superman you know, was huge. Well, yeah, it's it's freaking I mean, Superman. It's like the yeah. biggest deal. Yeah, out but that's there, that's what I mean. I, I felt like the media was portraying it as that's the world that we lived in, and yeah. everybody was really like sad about Superman. You know, dying. after being gone. Yeah. So I think that's what played into the fact that this got so much hype because it was it was crazy. It was like when Hulk Hogan turned heel. Like yeah. who, was, who saw that coming? <laughs> who saw that coming? Right. But um. Yeah, I think this was. I think this is just one of those iconic moments and kind There's of the scene history. right there, and that yeah, right, man, right there, there, that that yeah. panel right there. And then when he drops, is probably the most iconic panel, uh, mm -hmm. you know, right. in this. And the other one would be, you know, the funeral for a friend. You yeah, know what I mean? That, that cover, yeah, that yeah, cover, bro. So, yeah. But yeah, yeah, man. dude. Yeah, it's it's you know the cool thing I enjoyed about it though and I, I I will say that that you're right about and I'll, I'll I'll get right into that but the cool thing I liked about this was if you remember Doomsday was like a baby and it was yeah, like in a yeah. Green Lantern issue where they just shot his ass out and just, they pretty much did like they well that's what they did to Hulk right before Planet Hulk but they pretty much same thing they're like oh this thing's too fucking dangerous I'm gonna lock him up cage him up chain him up and just eject him out into fucking space and that's that was doomsday like and he grew and grew and grew in that thing and then crashed on earth so kind of cool in that respect but i feel like this is like what miguel was saying like this was kind of like a hail mary of sorts for dc because i think at the time marvel was fucking rocking they were rebooting we had jim lee coming in you know doing x-men doing x-force um, there was a bunch of shit going on. Todd McFarlane started doing Spider-Man. That was booming. Like Marvel was killing it in the early nineties. And then DC was like, how do we, you know, no one's reading justice league or fucking, you know, green arrow. And you know, so I think that's really what they tried to do is that how do we get back on the map and Superman, it like transcends, you know, comic heads. Right, like like we all said, it was like the media was acting like this was like real life because everybody knows who Superman is. Yeah, man. You yeah, know, regardless this, of what they read, they went to this extreme and then later on followed super freaking Batman. Right, I remember. It yeah, I was gonna say, and then that. they had Nightfall. Yeah. You know, exactly. Right the after whole, that, the whole series happened. Yeah, man. Yeah, was, so it's it's worth a read. I still think it's worth a read. I I I, I, I did so. watch the um, I did watch the the DC animated, but I don't didn't care for it it was still good it just it could have been better yeah well that's it i feel that's the general consensus for most of the dc animated movies that are no, like they're the best. That are adaptations they're from the comics i they're mean the dc animated are hands down are the best comic movies Marvel, period. period yeah but but i feel like when they try to Under do the it hood, like, the, like okay but look you, you got you got the death of superman kind of it fell short for me from an adaptation from the comics right Hush kind of fell short for me as well. Uh, 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 the Killing Joke was, you know, no. Bro, that was just so that was an abomination. That, that, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like when they when they take their when they take a comic book series and turn it into an animated movie, I don't think they've quite hit. They haven't hit for me. But when they make their own animated movies, they they're badass. Is what I mean. Does that make sense? Yeah. For me, anyway, I just felt like, damn, I think the, the 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 graphic, you know, the issues or you know, graphic novels were just better. You know, they they just, they start to change some shit for the animated movies. But they, but you're right though, they're miles better than anything Marvel's doing, mm -hmm. like hundred percent. You know, so it's just like, yeah, exactly. DC animated Death Superman didn't do his justice because it wasn't fleshed out. It that's what I mean. Like, I guess 
But I guess you could say that, you could probably say that about anything, right? I mean, you know, books are always better than the movies. I'm sure you guys have heard that your whole life. You know, I mean, a million times, yeah. and it's true. It, it's true. Uh, yeah, Crisis on Infinite Earth. There you go. Yeah. So, it, you know, I don't know, guys. I wanted to touch on it. Well, Mario, I think Mario, yeah. you, did you pick this one, didn't you? Uh, I think we kind of, or you we mentioned it. it. I think we both, both agreed upon it. Yeah. yeah, maybe we both agreed upon this one for this week. But it's super dope. Um, I would yeah. encourage you guys to go read it if you at least want to check it it's, out. It's an iconic story, man, and it's definitely worth a read. One thing that yeah, it's, at, it's history. At the end, too, where Lewis Lane's holding uh, Superman when he's dead, that kind of gave me the flashback too. Of, uh, was it Infinity Crisis when um I could say wrong, like I said, I don't do DC, but when uh, Supergirl died and Superman was holding her up, mm. kind of gave me flashbacks to that scene when he was like kind of doing the same. He was on his knees, but well, he was kind of. I think, I think her that up. was paying homage, like paying homage to this. That scene, right? Yeah, I think. Oh so. yeah. yeah, this is like because said, this is an iconic panel. Like yeah. nothing really came before it, you know. It's just Lois holding Clark in this rubble. She thinks he's gonna be okay. He collapses, it pans out. You see the fucking piece of something rebar or whatever, and his cape's blowing on in the wind like a flag. It was just like you didn't see that before. You didn't see that before, you know. And it was just like it, it blew me away as a kid, anyway. Right, it just blew me away. I remember reading this shit. I was like, "Ooh, issue seven, you know, because I knew it was, you know, it was a seven part run. And you get to that, you know, that final. I think it was, you know, Superman seventy five. I think was when he actually died. Died, and it was like, damn. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's like it was a. It, was a, it had to be their moment, right? Because it was happening yeah, live. It, it, it hit. It hit everybody, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and then the pa- was, and then the yeah. panels over the com. You turn the page. There's nothing left. You're like, fuck. Stay tuned for funeral of a friend, and you're like, what? So you read all those, <laughs> right? Yeah, dude, yeah. Because there's eight issues, but there was actually nine because there was one called funeral for friends zero. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had all those, bro. I was picking them up every Wednesday. Like it, it just. So, so at, at that the time, time, at that time, were you a DC? Collect, you collect DC and Marvel, or just mostly just because of the hype of the. the Super it Man? was a lot of the freaking hype, dude. I loved Batman. Always loved yeah. Batman. Um, yeah. You know. Um, Again, I was a little confused with a lot of DC. I didn't know everybody. Like, especially with Funeral for a Friend, like, everybody shows up in those comics. Like, all the DC universe. And you're like, who's this? And who is he? Like, you, you kind of know Aquaman. You kind of... I, I wasn't, you know, privy to every hero or villain for that matter. So it was like... But when that hit, you know, of course, again, to my earlier point, everybody knew Superman. You know? Mm-hmm. Of course, I knew who he was didn't really actively read but the death of superman hit bro you were like okay i gotta read this man i gotta read this so 